The preliminary hearing for the parents of the accused shooter in the Oxford attack is being put off until February. That was among the decisions made today as James and Jennifer Crumbly headed to court in shackles. They are charged with involuntary manslaughter. Their 15 year old son is charged with murder in the mass shooting. Both prosecution and defense agreed more time is needed to obtain and sort through a mountain of evidence. And this case is being called the single most important prosecution in the history of the county and state. And that's exactly how the Oakland County prosecutor views it. Karen McDonald says it's her responsibility to get justice for the victims killed in the deadly Oxford High School shooting on November 30th. Tonight, an exclusive, she's talking one on one with 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead about breaking ground in the prosecution and her mission to make schools safer. Prosecutor Karen McDonald says her decisions in the case of the deadly Oxford High School shooting are not only meant to get accountability, but also drive change and lead to safer schools. Discussing the mass shooting on November 30th at Oxford High School that resulted in the deaths of four students and others being injured. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald is opening up about taking bold action in her criminal prosecution. She says charging 15 year old Ethan Crumbly with terrorism, four counts of premeditated murder and more charges of assault with intent to murder simply were not enough when considering his parents, Jennifer and James bought him a gun, but failed to disclose it to counselors in a meeting the morning of the tragedy. Was it criminal at that meeting that morning at the school when the parents failed to mention that Ethan had access to a gun when he was drawing those disturbing drawings. Certainly that's one big um, event that that um, landed on the side of they absolutely are criminally culpable, but it was the series of events uh, seen taken together as a whole that, uh, that are absolutely criminal, I believe. If the parents changed. disclosed that he had access to a gun to the extent that he did, those four children would still be alive. I am certain of it. It is absolutely not just a failure to secure a firearm purchased for that individual with access to it. McDonald says furthermore, she supports the concept of tougher rules pertaining to responsible storage of guns, not to be confused with being against gun ownership. And by taking the step of charging the Crumblies, she hopes more parents will consider how they store their guns. I hope this absolutely never happens again. I hope Nobody ever has to look at a parent's face after they've lost a child because they went to school. McDonald tells us she personally toured the crime scene, met with family of the victims, and recalls their conversations being among the most difficult she's ever had. Part of why she says she'll be leading efforts in the courtroom herself rather than watching from the sidelines. What led you to go tour that scene yourself? I am not going to look in the eyes of those parents and see that pain and then go back to my office and go about my business. It's keeping my word that I'm going to be transparent, that I'm going to be involved, making sure people know what, what really happened here. As for recent steps taken by AG Dana Nessel, who's committed to also meeting with those involved to help prevent future tragedies, McDonald supports the move. In addition, her office is pledging to prosecute copycat threats, disrupting countless school districts in the wake of this tragedy. We need to do everything we can in this office and everywhere so that kids feel safe going to school. Lastly, McDonald has a message for everyone.